I'm going to be completely honest. This is not the next episode of this series. The reason it's taking this long is because I've put maybe 10 hours into the game on Brutal mode. You know, I've been running on Brutal. And every time I said I lose, I restart from the scratch. I cannot push further past the last time you saw me in the footage. I literally cannot push past further than that. And I apologise immensely for that. I literally can't do it. I'm trying, but I really can't. So we've dropped it back down to hard mode, and there's now a new rule in place. If my, if I press the resign button, while my character is still alive, it's classed as retreating from a planet. What the hell just did that? So, yeah, I've tried every single zone, give or take. There's a couple I haven't, and not one of them can I win. So I've dropped it down to difficulty mode, and like I said, we are now doing it where if my if I retreat. I get to keep my combat up because I refuse to play the same levels over and over again just to make it work. And the problem is, we get to this level of stuff where as you can see, the enemy has rovers. And rovers are very, very heavily armed mobile tanks, basically. They are really powerful, do a lot of damage, and the enemy can completely wipe me out. So my goal is, at the very least, hold some bloody ground, kill some bloody enemies, and hope for the bloody best. Is that going to help? No. Honestly, not even in slightly. The enemy is pretty powerful and pretty tough. We need more resources, we need more everything. Is that going to help me? No. So I need to basically push, crush, smash and smush. But the enemy, like I say, is really powerful. So this is where we are. I've had to drop the difficulty down. And I never mentioned permanent brutal. But yeah, new rule. If I can retreat my, uh, my commander, it counts. Because I refuse to keep doing the same missions over and over. If my commander dies, you know for a fact that's serious amounts of pain. Because, like I say, it's been like a week and a half since the last episode. That's entirely because I can't defeat these. I'm not good enough at them. They are pretty tough. So, you know, new, new tactic. Hoping it's a new tactic. And then we'll see how it goes. Yeah, we need all the resources we can because we need to keep producing troops. We need a lot of troops to be produced. And the enemy is very droney, fiery, and tanky. So this entire episode will be me explaining that, and then trying to build. My goal is to get the enemy to attack one place, so I don't need to defend another. Because the enemy, once they start attacking both ways, will immediately destroy me. I cannot afford that. My troops are easy to kill. I could build the shield bot forces, but I just want to keep going. So this is me explaining all of that. And now I'm going to go back to just fighting, and we'll see if I die. Remember, this is on hard, not brutal. And if my commander survives, yay! Will he? Probably not. So my goal is, quite clearly, destroy this southern area, and then keep pushing. But the entirety of my goal, I have artillery bots moving in now, I have infantry moving in. As long as I keep the pressure on the enemy in the south, I'll be good. Because as soon as they start pushing the north, I will not be good. Now, if I could do everything else, that would be great, but like I say, I would take what I can bloody get, and right now what I can get is lots of doom. We just need to make sure their doom is doomy. So a lot of artillery pieces are now being pushed in. Infantry are now supporting them. As long as they die, we're happy. But again, I have lost this a lot of times, an awful lot of times. It's all about the resources. We do not have the resources. The reason I was fighting this in the first place was to get defences, these like missile towers. Which I learned from doing this, that they take a lot longer than I'd like. Like an awful lot longer than i like. They take forever, because they have to recharge and reload situation going on. So that's not the best. But now, with being only on hard rather than brutal, we're actually holding the enemy. I'm beginning to think I could probably do this on brutal. We just need to rethink our strategies and not die. How's that working out for me? Not well. You know, 50-50. We're holding the line, everything is going well, more and more artillery pieces are arriving, this is going up, and we always have resources coming in, which is good. Which means this will soon be glorious. Okay, the numbers are finally on my side. The artillery pieces, the slings, are really, really helping. Everything else is optionally awesome. Well, we've lost the centre, the north is vaguely under attack again, of course it is. Of course it is under attack, vaguely. Okay, you stay there. You two push on, you'd be useless to me, and we'll keep on pushing this road. The more we can have their forces fight for me, or against me, the better. That is a lot of artillery pieces, my gods. Where's my commander? Is he in there? Where is my commander? Okay, we've got to the stage where we have um, a radar on here, we can actually see their base. 
Obviously now I need to make the other four things it wants me to make, which is four of these and four of those. And once they're all done, we can actually start massively, massively pushing forwards. As you can see, I'm actually also using these points. So we're moving them up. Our troops are pushing in. We have a big, massive ball of doom. They're going to try and take it. We are holding. Hard mode is easy for me. Brutal mode, screw that noise. Oh my god, that noise. Get a push forward is finally happening. A lot of artillery pieces are now completely annihilating their forces. This artillery force, the slings, has actually massively helped. Ah, not being on brutal was the best thing I ever did. Oh my god, look at this wiper. Oh, there's their commander. Flying on a jetpack. That's. I didn't have a jetpack I played before. Right. Get going with that. Go back down to here. Get rid of these guys. There we are. Keep the forces going. We have a few attacks in the north, so I've now got defences up here. We lost a few little guys, but otherwise we're fine. We're just holding the line, seeing what we'll see. And what are we seeing? Everything exploding. Which is good. I want to see everything. Oh, take that out. Take out the rover assembler. Come on, my massive artillery force. There we are. Burn, baby, burn. Oh my god, look at that go. So yes, we have now gained the access to... Uh, missile turrets. And... Little imp drones, which I thought would be okay, but they're not that good. Now, this is literally just a clear-up. Literally just a clear-up. All we do is kill that guy with one. Oh my god, we're actually going to win. We're actually going to win. Good. This is a clean-up. Wasn't meant to be, because this was the one I spent the most time on, but here we are. Oh, look at it burn. There we go. Victory! Hard mode engaged. Oh my god. That brutal can just go screw itself. Oh, yes. We now have auto repair for the commander if we need it. And my commander's leveled up. Now I have access to auto repair and ablative armor? Yeah, sure, why not? And now I have access to what is this? No? It was you. Oh, I've already got that. What do we do? This one. Let's try and grab fire? What we really need is not auto repair. We need not auto repair. There is another repair thing we can get. So particle beams might be useful. This will give access to a you know, anti-air and cloaked anti-air. Anti-air might be useful. But we really need... We are dropping into Happica. This is because I want rovers. So as you can see, we have active rovers going on. Now, will that help us? Probably not. But also, one thing I begin to realise, I'm not a big fan of how the time up top tells what time it is. It's knocking on when I actually record these things and go sleep. Thank you, game. You knock. Now, what do we need? We need a lot of equipment, a lot of resources very fast. We're still playing on hard. Let me get a base actively up and have my forces push out, push out, and hope for the best. Are we going to win? Mm -hmm. well, we're going to damn well try. That means burning the enemy positions, holding the line, destroying eight metal factors by one minute thirty. At one minute thirty? Ooh, okay. Don't think I could do that one, because we need the XP to keep my guys going well. Go, go, go. Burn, baby, burn. Fire is cool. Come on, how are we doing? How are we doing? How are we doing? Okay, that force is dead against tanks. This force is good. Burn, burn, burn. 1 minute 30, got 15 seconds left. I don't know where the last of them are. We didn't get the first one. Bugger. It's got to be here. It's not here. It's got to be here then. Okay. Enemy positions have screwed me. We didn't get the first XP. Win by 6 minutes is also probably not likely. Hmm. This is a problem. This is a big problem. Okay. I guess I'll just keep building forces and push. But we're not going to win by 8 minutes, so we're not going to win by 6 minutes. That's an issue. Let me build up. Never mind, the enemy forces are coming at me with tanks. We are no longer building a base, we are now on the front line. Also, that drone means the enemy commander's there. Bugger. Come on! Luckily, he regenerates health a bit faster than usual, but even so, he cannot be afforded to die! Oh god, there's drones everywhere. The combat is uh, negotiably bad, is the phrase I'm going to be using. Luckily my commander can take care of himself. I wish we could take care of the enemy, but I'll take what I can bloody get. Right now we are mass producing assault vehicles to here. Are we doing well? Not particularly. 
Why? Because the enemy is literally everywhere. But we're doing our best. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. Grab those. I like to get some of these bonuses going. Okay, the Ravagers are doing significant damage. We need more and more and more fighting craft on the field. Hold the line, crush the line. Brutal, they are not as pushy as they usually are. I mean, Brutal, they usually are very pushy. This is so much better. I'm enjoying how easier this is. This is an actual a fight with difficulty as opposed to just death immediate. I like it. I like it a lot. Keep building, keep growing. We're not going to win by six minutes, are we? No, four minutes in. Cool. Okay, we found the commander's drone. Where's the commander? Is he on the hill? Commander might be on the hill. Where's the commander? Take out all their turrets. There's the commander. He's running. So we're going to lose a lot of units hitting this place. We just need to kill as much as we can. There we go. Destroy all the enemy metal extractors. That's the only mission we need to do. Destroy all the enemy metal extractors. Keep pushing more and more forces. We're building them fast enough. That's good. Good, 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 good. Keep going, keep going. Once the metal is being made faster than we're using it, that will be great. We can start putting more stuff down to construct. We are holding the line. I think we need over here some more caretakers. We're not going to survive by six minutes. That's a problem, but whatever. I think we can still hold this pretty nicely. Enemy forces have massively been hitting all of my positions across the air. I've been losing rear areas a lot. I'm trying to salvage them. We've now got... Uh, Shield bots up and running, basic ones. We also have obviously the rovers up and running. We are vaguely holding the line, but the enemy is producing faster than I can because there's what I'd like to say in the phrase cheating involved. Active cheating involved. However, their commander's just about to die. Unicellus, die for me, die for gloriosity. He is not going to die, is he? I need more troops. Okay, you lot, engage now. There we are. Oh, he's putting another drone. Please kill Uni. I think it might be a she. I don't know. Okay, we've held everything else. We've got some of our resources back. Everyone needs to kill that commander. Come on. Kill the commander. Kill the commander. Yes, commander down. Okay, engage and push. Engage and push. We have a drone laser line over here, as you can see. We have tanks and forces pushing out, crushing out. We are doing the sheer numbers stratagem. Is it going to work? They're holding the line, though. What you do is kill all their metal extractors, but they are kind of held in the back lines. There we go. Kill them all, kill them all, kill them all. God, there's a lot of defensive turrets back here. Luckily, we have a huge amount of assault rovers over here, which are obviously designed for anti-equipment capabilities. What are you? Oh, it's a Stardust. I still don't have access to Stardust. We'll kill that, too. God, they're building more at the back here. Okay, we're holding the line. Let's start pushing more forces into their lines. We're losing over here. Yep, we've lost that area. Okay, push down here. Come on, Commander. So we're holding the line. I think we should be good to go. We just need to kill everything else off. We have a huge amount, obviously, of the assault rovers, which I will be using specifically to target certain things. Okay, we're finally at their bloody assembler. They have so many vehicles back here. Against this damn thing has been a nightmare. If I can kill this, we officially win. Because they can't rebuild their losses. Because at this stage, they don't. Unfortunately, the enemy forces are devastating. And my human wave tactics is not working. Other people should probably have also learned that fact. But, you know, human wave tactics do not work. The enemy forces are very concentrated. What we need to do is knock out that factory before it can get repaired and we will win. Obviously we still need to kill off the drones and things, or the metal extractors. But once that factory is down, they will not build another one at this stage of the game. We just need to kill it. Come on! Come on, thug! Ah! So yeah, everything is not coming up Millhouse. We are so very close. So very, very close. In fact, we don't need to kill that. We need to kill these two over here. We're done. Sorry, ignore him. Go through the massive wave of defensive towers to here. Go, 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 go. Let's do this. Come on, let's do this. I don't know how long I've been recording for. Go, go, go. One down. Is that the final one? Yes, come on. Oh, my God, victory. Whew. Oh, I'll take that. And I now have access to drones, although I'd very much have liked to have done the other two. Maybe in a future event. Because right now we have access to, let's see, deployable missile rovers, artillery mine layer rovers, 
Cloaked Raiders, the Soifs. Ooh, we have many more options to explore. Let's explore some. Oh my god, what is this? So I'm pushing up, so I'm trying to get these phantoms, as you can see. Which are anti-heavy bots, which are cloaked. So my goal is, destroy this horizon, bring your commander to the artifact, protect your commander. All I have to do, apparently, is get to the artifact. That's it. There's a lot of things I need to do. But that's all I currently need to do. So we are here, building up a base, and I think... We have a lot of resources and things we can do. Let's see how well we actually do. Because this could get real bad real quickly. Let's uh, set up a base. Oh, we have a big attack already coming in the south. Cool. Oh, that is actually a big attack coming in the south. So we're going to push up here. There's yellow we have to go through. Destroying the enemy's stuff will actually give you better time. So we're going to do what we can to see what we can. Oh, God. So how do you actually do? Oh, that was a shot. Did did nothing? I still don't have any actual defensive systems. I want to point that out. We literally have no defensive systems. So I still have yet to grab those. So the enemy is down south as we figured out. Oh my god. That is one shot of them. We now have our official assault force. That is good. We need to reinforce down there. But I think that's good to go. Okay, we'll hit them. We'll hit them hard. Oh my god, we have a bigger shielded bot too. Oh ho ho ho! Oh yeah, we are getting more of these guys. So this is a good idea. We're going to keep fortifying and reinforcing. But I think we should be okay. This force over here will hold the line. we still got to push up. We'll get there, we'll get there. So I'll be honest, there's no way in hell I'm going to be able to win by 10. Because I'm trying to do this achievement down here. Now, you can go back to these missions, I think, and try again. Now, the enemies hit me here, there's like a massive ball of shield. So, I'm going to do the automatons and the interloper's shield bot. So, as you can see, I've got a large force of all the troops. I have knights, I have huge amounts of ronin, I have the glaze, I have several phantoms, I've even got sling artillery pieces. We're going to push through in a massive assault force to here. We just need to make sure the enemy, of course, isn't doing anything sneaky. Here we go, here we go. There we are. There we go. Send in the drones. Send in the drones. And that's what we're doing. There we are. So yeah, I'm clearing this area out. And then I'm going to start pushing in. We just need to make sure that what we're doing is killing them all. So a massive amount of troops are pouring up. Even my commander will be going eventually. Obviously the automatons are not engaging so far. But I don't really expect them to. I've never really done this mission. I've never gotten further than this. So this is interesting to me. Very interesting to me. Oh, there's another one. I'm enjoying them. Yeah, we're definitely getting more of these guys on the field. Let's just also up numbers of these guys a bit more. There we are. More drones, more stuff. Yeah, so we're... Oh my god, look at them all. We're going to hold this line, build up, ignore the 10 minutes and push in hard. Ignore the time at the top because I'm recording these as and when I can. It's a knock telling you when I'm doing it. Although I'm thinking of getting food very soon, so maybe. Okay, we've begun the push across the bridge as you can see. My force is now engaging. We are doing some devastation. Some serious devastation. But we are crossing the bridge. A major engagement over to here. We're going to try and kill as many as we can. We're taking out the shield bot factory. The enemy is already retreating. We obviously have a lot of missiles and stuff going on. The enemy has one big massive guy over there. The shielded assault bot thug. Oh, the regular guy's gone. We have our elites and our snipers crossing over. I have found they have been shooting each other. They have literally been shooting each other. So, you know, 50-50. But yeah, they can't see me. We're crossing over. There we are. Take out that shield bot factory. So yeah, this is obviously meant to be a time-based game, because obviously we're not meant to have most of the troops we currently have, I think. This is meant to be an easier assault. We have not done an easier assault, we have completely and totally done this. Kill, kill, kill. Nice. Come on, push. Kill that, kill that, kill that. So this is going to be an easy one, we're going to wipe this out, kill them all off, and then we're going to go do the uh, thing up top. Nice and simple, let's wipe this base out. They were an easy target. A very easy target. So, yeah, perfect. 
Let's, let's do clean up, mop up, and leave. The enemy base is quite significant. We're still clearing up pieces of it. They actually have highly active um, torpedo tubes and things like that. There's actual torpedo tubes and things on their base. So we're clearing it all up. Obviously, it's taking a little bit longer than I'd like. But the enemy base is mostly gone. We're going to start building up an assault force here as well. Because I don't know what these guys have. And I imagine saying hello to them might... Oh, do some things. Now, we're also very low on power, so we're building more power. Because all of my guys are using stealth, of course. So, you know, that would be nice to actually have something useful. Oh, that was a big... Oh, they're actually using desolator medium-range artillery. Okay, that's fine. That will require a level of longer range than I currently have been using. Let's start giving them the artillery. Let's do it. So yeah, we are pushing through, pushing forwards, expanding, growing, extracting, and hoping. And hoping mostly that we do not die. Okay, we're preparing for our final assault. Currently we have a load of artillery hitting this position over here. And then we're going to send in the main forces, which are a lot of locals. An awful lot of locals. We have a load of these phantoms. Of course, ten minutes has gone by, but the enemy is not able to stop me. You're going to straight up hit the singularity reactors, because that's where we're going. I've also built this sparrow. I actually have a scout drone in the sky. This is obviously what you get from the radars, which I didn't know about. So, yeah, we now have a little bit of scouting going on. Which is nice to have. So we can now see what the enemy has, which is a lot of rubbish. There we are. Kill them all, kill them all, kill them all. Clear all of this out with our artillery. Then we're doing major, actually, we're doing major rush on their main areas. Because of course right now we're still building everything. We've got loads of resources moving in. We've got a few troops at the back. We've got more energy being made back here because we were low on energy. But our forces are prepared and ready. We just need to, you know, get ready. Okay, just a big guy there left. And then we're good to go. Perfect. We're about to do an assault very soon once that is dead. Then again... Oh my god, look at this! Just more and more of it. Okay, so imagine the enemy... Oh, anti-air, anti-air, anti-air! So I imagine the enemy's defence zones on that side would be pretty bloody hectic too. So let's uh, push. Let's do the first assault. Everyone's going in. Of course, anything that dies will be replaced immediately. It just may take longer. There we are. Kill them all, kill them all, kill them all. God, they've got warp jammers and things. That's insane. That's just so many defensive positions. We can kill them all dead easily, but even so, look at it all. There we are. Keep pushing. God, energy extenders. What is that? Pop-up ghost to it, or gals to it. We generally it's been closed. I can't even capture these things. Produces warp cores. Prevents warp attacks. They can warp troops onto me? Alright. Kill everything. Long-range anti-missile battery. No wonder that took me out. The one thing we need to do, of course, is kill off their energy production capabilities. If they can't energy, they can't actually deploy their heavier turrets. There we go. Let's go. We're pushing forwards. There we are. I think this should be good to go. Okay, we're still pushing. Okay, you. Okay, there we go. More forces pushing in. There we are. Where's my commander? Where's my commander? Have I sent him forwards? Where's my commander? Alright, down here. Okay, good. You can move up here. Let's start pushing. I think we are completed. We just need to clear out the remnants. These bloody phantoms are insane. They're one-shotting nearly everything. Look at them. If anything hits, they, they destroy it. That's madness. I am loving the phantoms. And because they're stealth, they get a shot off. Look. So yeah, phantoms are going to be a priority thing in my base now. They are fully going to be a priority thing in my base. 
Because everything in here is dying because of them. We just need to wipe out their reactors and then we've got double experience. Just going to take a while because the enemy is quite far back there. Quite far back there. Yeah, this is genuinely official. These things are just walking through the base, wiping out everything. The only thing which is damaging them so far is other phantoms shooting them in the back. Look, they're, they're just killing everything. Now, if I can shoot those reactors, I can detonate the entire bloody base. Come on, kill that. I want to just get my commander here. Oh, one more shot, one more shot. That's going to be Big Banner Boom. Give me the Big Banner Boom. Yeah. Okay, now to do is wait for my bloody commander to get here. And he is going to take a while. So give me several minutes to get to my bloody artifact. For you, this is an official win. This is literally an official win. So I'm cutting it here. It was just going to take 10 minutes to walk there because my guy is slow. But I'll meet you back on the map.